Uh, it's fun to play in the snow. Not that, fun, though, to drive on, on icy freeways around Nashville because they've got so many elevated roadways. It's, it's at like an ice rink out there. Don't you feel guilty? That, that we mm. are so nice here? Yeah. Yeah. Not really. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. I'm just enjoying it. <laughs> so you can always get an honest answer out of Brent. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt about that, right, Natalie? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, friends, this is, that, this is that Arctic outbreak that continues around the eastern half of the country. And you can see it on the satellite imagery. Look at that big front that stretches all the way down off the coastline of Florida. Well, that front is the leading edge of this last round of cold air that we've seen moving through the Midwest Northern Plains down into the southeastern part of the country. There's the influence of high pressure that we have sitting around much of the Great Basin. But on the temperature contour map, notice mild readings, 50s, 50s, 60s, and 70s all around the southwest, even into the Pacific Northwest. Extremely unusual, whereas right now in Minneapolis, this is not a wind chill factor, that is the current temperature reading. It is 1 degree, Omaha 16, St. Louis is currently right in the teens, Detroit is in the low teens. Those are the current temperature readings, not combining any kind of a wind chill factor. It's just plain, downright miserable out there. Beautiful shot here from our Sun Valley camera. And as you can tell, crystal clear blue skies. Not a cloud to be found anywhere. But I do think we're going to start seeing a couple of changes over the next few days. And it's going to be courtesy of the jet stream that's going to allow a weak storm to move right down into the Great Basin. As you know, high pressure has been the dominant feature. That's what's kept us dry. That's what's kept us mild. The high is now showing signs of weakening. Watch what happens as we get into Friday and Saturday. The jet stream is going to start digging down into the southwest. That's still going to allow a weak area of low pressure. It's going to be very weak. It's going to be very fast moving. It's going to come in. It's going to move out of here about as quickly as it came in. And what it will do is bring in some clouds by Friday afternoon and allow maybe a chance of some snow showers on Friday and Saturday. One thing for sure is Friday and Saturday temperature readings are going to start dropping back down to more normal levels for this time of the year. Instead of temperatures in the upper 50s, we're going to be seeing temperatures dropping back down into the 40s over the weekend. So tomorrow in the afternoon, some high thin clouds out here as the high pressure continues to weaken. All in all should still be a very nice day. Now watch what happens on Friday as the area of low pressure begins to form across the uh, Intermountain West. We'll start to see a chance of some snow showers primarily over the mountains on Friday. I don't expect much in the way of any measurable precipitation here in the Treasure Valley with this storm over the weekend, but look for increasing clouds on Friday, mostly cloudy skies on Saturday. There may be a couple of little spritzies here and there, but it just doesn't look impressive. And then drying conditions on Sunday. Next week looks like it's going to be pretty nice through the middle part of the week. What about the mountains? We'll see beautiful conditions tomorrow. And I'm going to go ahead and say a slight chance of some snow showers on Friday, a slight chance of some snow showers on Saturday, and then clearing skies on Sunday with nice weather on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. So it's going to be a fast moving low. If it would stick around for a while, it might generate a little more snow, but it's going to come in, it's going to form, it's going to move out. Yeah, all right. We'll take it for now. Okay. Thank you, Roland.